Hello, Nikolai Markovich from Echo Lake Technologies, echolaketech.com. In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up business accounts. So this is a continuation of my other videos showing you how to set up storefronts. Um, in those videos, these, the storefronts were, were set up, and now what we're actually going to do is go and set up the actual uh, business owner's account. Uh, the reason being is because we need to set up the business account so that we can get them set up in Stripe so that they can go uh, charge their customers for the products that they're selling in your app, and in turn, you can also charge them a, a fee for using your app. Okay, so on this page here, it's basically just a simple uh, form. So first name, last name of the business owner, the business name, uh, their username, uh, which is their e email address, and then the password in, in confirming their password. And then also uh, click for upload uh, an image uh, um, or a logo of their, their business. And then a simple button for creating the account, um, and then a button to go to their storefront. Now. Before I get into some of the bubble logic, I want to talk a little bit about the Stripe side. So I'm in my test account in Stripe here, and I've created some other business accounts here. But what you're going to need to do is in your Stripe account, uh, you're going to need to go and set up a Connect account. I I'm not going to walk through how to do that um, in, in this video. Um, Stripe is really good about documenting uh, their, their process and so forth. So set up your Stripe account, go in there, set up Connect, and then in there you're going to see uh, accounts here. Now, these accounts, you can actually create them here in Stripe, but we're actually going to have your Bubble app go and create these accounts. So these are the businesses here. And I'm going to show you um, the Joe's A2 business here, which I've set up earlier. And this one's already got some transactions in my test environment. Uh, this is the account code. So this is going to be important to, to know as well. When you create a, a business, uh, Stripe is going to assign them an account uh, number. Uh, so you're going to want to know that. Um, some of this information on their address and, and so forth. Um, so we'll, we'll set that up through, through Bubble. Now, I do want to go back and, and show you, though, also, you can see that this user here is verified, and I've got unverified and upcoming and due and so forth. So some of these other accounts, um, I don't have all the information in there. Again, these are made-up accounts. Uh, but you're going to need tax ID, social security number, date of birth. So when you go in your app and set it up so that your, your users who are businesses and they're setting up their account, you're going to need to collect this information from them in your app. And so we're going to walk through how to do that uh, right now. I should also point out, I'm not going to show you how to fully set up the Stripe account and so forth. I do have a video here, and I'll put it in the link below, uh, how to implement Stripe in your Bubble app. So I'll, I'll give you a link to that, that pointer as well. Okay, so create business account. Let's get right into it. So the first thing we're going to do is sign up user, and I've got other videos that show how to do this, but um, it's basically, you go over here, account, and then where is sign up user? Sign up user, right here. So that's what you want to choose. And over here, so the input username value, so that's the input field. And then we also have the password value, the input for that, and then confirming it. So that's basically just these, these fields right here. Um, username and then the password and confirm password. So those are the fields. And then right here, what we want to do is Stripe JS platform, create a custom seller. So that's over here. Now, uh, Stripe JS has a lot of um, options to choose from. So right here, plugins. And then, as you can see, a lot of these are, are Stripe. So the one at the top is platform. And let me start at the top here. Platform. Let's charge, create a custom seller. So this is the one you want to choose right here. Create a custom seller for platform right here. 
and on it it's going to be so you want the country code so here in the u.s it's just u.s email is their email address and then company type so you can have um, the other option on here is personal i think the default is personal actually let's just go in and just check it out here and charge create um, again there's a lot of create a custom so individual, so that's the default. This is the default values. So you want it to be US if you're in the, located in the US and then their email address. And then the default is in, individual, but for this, you want to go and change it to company. So make sure you have it set up as company. And then what you wanna do is uh, make a change to current user. So we've created the account. And now what we wanna do is make a change to the current user. And what we want is business account. So in the database here, under user, I've set this up biz account as text. And basically what that biz account is, it's this value right here. So we're going to be taking the value from Stripe and we're gonna be putting it in our database for that, that current user, that business owner. So it's a result of step two. Step two, we're creating a customer and then their ID. And let me just, um, Let's see, copy, because I do want to show you this. This can get a little bit confusing because there is a lot of options in here. So result of Stripe 2 ID. So you see all these different options. Again, Stripe JS, it's a great plugin. There's lots of capabilities to it. But what you're going to want to do is pick ID, just like that. Okay, and then, so you've got the biz account ID, and then over here. So this is the next thing you want to do. Uh, platform update seller's business name. Now, I should point out, again, back to the plugins. Let me just scroll up here. So platform. So we've created the account already, and you can delete things and retrieve. Where is update? Again, lots of choices. So update, uh, custom seller's date of birth, their business name, uh, seller's details, identity pro uh, documents, and so forth. So a lot of these updates here. So this is gonna be important. I'm just gonna bounce back over here to the account. Um, so you see how highlight f highlighted fields need to be um, uh, provided. So you're gonna have to collect all this information tax ID, social security, the last four digits, and, and so forth, okay, to get your accounts, your business accounts, your users' accounts up and running. So I've got it, you can see it's verified here, and this one is unverified. Okay, so you're gonna want to go in your workflow, and you're gonna wanna add these items in here. Now I've just done a couple of these, so the seller's business name for this, for this one here, again, the seller ID, we want to take that from when we created it in step two. Um, and then their, their input business names value. And that was from right over, where is business? Right here. And then the other thing we want to do is update the seller's name. So their first name and last name and so forth. So again, this isn't completely built out. You're, you're going to want to go in here and again, choose plugins and then all these choices, their update, their, their date of birth, and then you're gonna wanna have, again, insert from step two, ID, and then you're gonna wanna go, and you're gonna wanna have input fields for their date of birth and so forth, and just keep on building it out until you have all of the required inputs, all these required inputs uh, provided here. So it's gonna take a little bit of time to set it up, but it is definitely uh, doable. And once you have it all automated, your users can come in and set up their own business accounts. So that's basically that part of it. And then here, all I've done is just a simple go to um, storefront. Um, so I've, I've created a, um, a storefront admin. I've done that in the previous videos, which I'll, I'll put the link in for that as well. And then we basically wanna send the current user uh, information so that you create the account on this page here and then you click the button here go set up the storefront it's going to take that current users information and then you're going to go to the next page and I'm just going to go um, 
storefront admin here and then it's going to go to this page again i've got another video on setting up this page here to set up all the different items in the storefront okay let's go and we're um, set up business account there we go and i've got it right here let me just go and refresh it and we'll just go and create another another user so uh, let's say you know jack smith and jack's business and jack biz at test.com and password like that uh, upload an image and i'm just gonna take some images that I had from other things that are just kind of random here. So create a business account. So it bubbles off doing its thing, creating the account, working with Stripe. The two passwords do not match, oh boy. So that's good that we have that to verify. Like that, create account. And it's going and processing, doing its thing, working with Stripe, getting the ID from Stripe for this business, uh, getting it all set up. And then when this is done, I am gonna go over, it looks like that's done. I'm gonna go over here to the dashboard and I'm gonna go to accounts again under connect um, and then accounts. And it looks like it's still processing. Let me just do a, a refresh. It does take sometimes a couple of seconds for it to propagate over on the stripe side there it is there's jack's business so it says pending here okay and then when we go in you'll see so a lot of a lot of red on here highlights um, uh, highlighted fields need to be entered database birth not provided and and so forth um, so external account terms of service so service agreement service agreement not recorded agreement so there's there's some work that needs to still be done to set up this account um, so payouts so when this person has um, money coming in the payouts to it that's not been set up for their bank account and, and so on and so forth so there's still more work um, again stripe has a lot of information on how to set this up the stripe js plugin has a lot of capabilities to go and automatically set this up um, for you um, based on the input from those those businesses okay so we're all set up here and now i'm going to go again jack's business got this kind of weird logo thing here whatever um, let's go to their storefront and let's yeah we'll save okay so they're Jack Business, that's um, jackbiztest.com. So it's all set up and running. Again, I've got another video that shows how to create this page and fill it out and, and so forth. So I'm not gonna walk through that. Uh, the main purpose of this video was basically this page here to set up the uh, business account and get them set up in Stripe. So we can see here that this person, Jack's business, is indeed set up in, in Stripe. So we're good to go. Next video I'm gonna show you is from the end buyer. So Jack's business's customers, for instance, that go in and buy his products and then they go uh, to the shopping cart and check out. So I'm going to show that in the next video. I uh, hope this was helpful. Uh, if you liked it, please give me a thumbs up. I greatly appreciate it. Uh, again, I have another video coming out in a, shortly on how to do the checkout uh, using Stripe for this. Um, subscribe to my channel and you'll get a notification on new videos. Um, and with that, I will see you in the next video.